footage on let's, top let's of roll it. The, let's roll the footage. Yeah, so one of the main uh, points of Terminator right here is his passive. It's a huge deal. You can see Ermac try to pull his X-ray on him, and Terminator avoids all X-rays, fatal blows, and crushing blows. So he's not going to get caught up in there and those all the extra free damage and the extra combat effects that pop off on uh, crushing blows. So He'll never get hit by those. Never get no hit cool by them. No cooldown, just doesn't get hit. No cooldown, there's no once per match, there's just, he's just totally negated to them. Okay. And uh, and you'll see near the end of the match, uh, we have a special little sequence that occurs, very much so like in console. Oh, right. Yeah. And. Uh, You'll see we've, we've done a little facial animation here on his, on his uh, Fatal Blow, which is pretty cool. It's one of the first times we've done facial animation on uh, this character. We wanted to go to the extra mile with Arnold and get that uh, signature uh, wink? Mouth yeah, wink? Yeah, ma ma I don't think that's a term for that. Uh, uh, whatever. Maybe a smirk? <laughs> yeah. But I think a mouth wink is actually called a smirk. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, one of the other things I really, uh, you'll nope. see there, he nope. avoids that, that uh, Passive ability of Cabal with the uh, going into the automatic fatal blow on the tag end when his teammate dies. So, and here he goes. Big moment. Not Endos. quite finished, huh? <laughs> no, sir. Endoskeleton's here. Gets all of his health back. Uh, he's immune to fire, bleed, poison. Because he's a, he's he's a, a robot. Yeah. 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 All his synth mm -hmm. flesh is gone. And uh, yeah, he's a real uh, punch house. <laughs> Okay, so so far we've had mouth wink and mouth wink. punch, punch house. house. Uh, he's a punch house because uh, we'll get into it later. But he's got a piece of equipment that is uh, entirely his that really uh, buffs his basic. Just attacks. allows him to be more of a punch house. More of a punch house. Awesome. So uh, pretty cool. Um, he he's, he's Terminator. How do we get Terminator? Uh, anyway, yeah. thanks for completing the Halloween Tower. Yep. We now have the Lin Kuei Tower for the. 2.4 update. And there it is. Look, it's nice. It's nice and icy. Frosted out. Frosted out. This may be a really cool, uh, a, a cool tower for people to play. What can you tell people about this? Yeah, sure. Uh, so we kind of took the Tower of Horror and we took it to the next level. There's a, there's a whole new set of equipment rewards that drop exclusively in this tower. Uh, very exciting. We'll talk more about those later, but uh, we also have a uh, an increased amount of uh, gold character card rewards okay. uh, from the tower from the Halloween Tower of Horror, and at the top of the tower we have some very exciting rewards. We do, uh, and we have there's boss battles and whatnot. There are and boss battles, yeah, and uh, they're they're uh, tougher boss battles, and they're gonna they're, you're gonna see them a little bit. Well, you'll see them when we, when you get the update, but yeah. they're persistent health. You're gonna it's gonna take a few fights to beat them, but every time you beat them or lose to them, you're going to get a, a chance at a gear drop and an equipment drop for this update as well. Awesome. Let's take a look at uh, the tower rewards video we yeah. have set up. So here's the, the final fight of the tower. I just kind of want to show that off. Uh, what happens? Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, teams with uh, Terminator, wink wink, mm -hmm. right now. Well um, done. And you'll notice at the end of the tower, you are going to get one of our very special epic weapon equipments Kuai for this Liang update. Scepter. Kuai Liang, Kuai Liang Scepter. Uh, one of the huge, one of the biggest bonuses is it gives you 1.5 bars of power. Oh, nice! At the start of a match, and it's one half of something you're going to need to do something very exciting in this update. You might be able to read it on the screen. But here's the other piece of equipment you get: Kuai Liang's bracers. Okay. Sorry if I butchered that. No, you're fine. <laughs> um, once you get uh, the scepter and the bracers together, you are going to be able to perform, for the first time in mobile, a brutality. A brutality in mobile. Coming yes. to mobile, we Coming have mobile. a, a sub-zero brutality. Mm -hmm. Got to have both of those pieces of gear. Yep. I think we should probably give the fans what they want and I'd give them a quick little, uh, show them real quick. Yeah, let's looks. check it out. So here it is. It happens when your opponent's below 20% 20, 20 health and you've got these equipped. And you go boom. Auto finisher into the brutality. Nice. And that's nothing you have to push. Like nope. you hit them below a threshold of damage, boom. Yep. You'll knock their entire torso off. Absolutely. Yeah. If you have those two items. Yep. Soft That's or, right. Yeah. yeah. Equipped. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, it uh, and 
In addition to that, you'll see uh, when you do get the equipment pieces, it also, also heightens the damage on combo enders as well. Right. And I uh, do, do you now this the subs you get a diamond sub zero card too, don't you? Yeah, we oh gosh, we're that's pretty important that. actually. Yeah. That. Uh, I guess people who uh, get to the top of tower will also get a random diamond sub zero card. Or uh, it's gonna be raining diamonds at the top of this tower or snowing diamonds, snowing whatever diamonds. you want to call it. That yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes more sense. Sure. But awesome. yeah, it's uh, pretty exciting. So we got some sub zero stuff, a nice tower mm -hmm. with a brutality included. Absolutely. If you get the right, you get, get right, get get the right, the right pieces. Gear. Guaranteed be, at the top. That'll be fun for everybody to start, start going for that. It's nice to have a new tower for people to, uh, to work through. Absolutely. Some of the elder players who have really strong teams can really start pushing that too. Yes, and, and it's great for uh, new players and, yep. and people who are in the middle of their journey in Mortal Kombat because it's going to be dropping a lot of this great equipment as well. That sounds great. Um, a lot of other stuff happening right now. Um, we have a new... Uh, Wait, let's, let's actually show a picture of the equipment. This, this is a picture of a lot of the equipment that's coming. That's it. <laughs> we got we got swords, frozen mummies, orbs, axes, bracers, <laughs> gauntlets, uh, face masks, uh, cryo bombs, and one of my favorite pieces in the middle is the uh, the cryo armor. Um, I think it's pretty awesome. It's a it's a, a defensive tool. It's a beast at reflecting uh, basic attack and special attack damage. Okay. And uh, it also, at the start of the match, will give you um, 25 seconds of ice armor, which is which is huge. It's one of the one of the abilities that uh, Cold War Sonya has had tied to her for a long right. time, and it's something that everyone can uh, place on their characters now. I think oh, it's that's really great. Card uh, back of character cards. Let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah. We wanted to uh, improve the look of it, the readability, um, and really call out some aspects of the um, passive that we're kind of getting hidden before. So on the front menu here, you can kind of see, this is this is exactly what the back of the card looks like now. So uh, you'll see the passive in the top left corner there. Uh, we've got a, a standard kind of icon there to represent at each character's passive that gives you, at a quick glance, kind of an idea of what this passive is going to do. Uh, for you, so as you're swapping, switching through characters, and you see these icons, and you're building a team, and your mental muscles will say, "Oh yes, this is these are the kind of people I want to put together." Right. Uh, so this, I mean, it, it helps for the game to just just readability. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, you know, we've laid out uh, your your stats here. Those are a lot easier to see, and you can see how those are all added up um, in a more concise manner um, and precise. And uh, support cards are there, and one of the new things. It's a big, it's a little thing, but I think it's a big thing. Um, the community wanted to see uh, when we change in 2.0, when you max out a support card, it graded out and you couldn't see the, the cool art anymore. We've, right. We fixed that, so now you can, once it's maxed out, you can pop open it and take a look. Cool. And um, just one last thing, kind of at the very bottom here, you'll notice there's two little arrows to the left and right. Uh, and when you click on those, you'll be able to quickly scroll through your cards without. Uh, yeah. This is one third of the traveling trio. The damaged vixens, the assassin, <laughs> Scarlet. Scarlet's here. Scarlet will be coming to Mortal Kombat Mobile, and she will finish off. Will be a part of the assassin squad. Part of the assassin squad. Yeah, a much requested uh, completion of this trio uh, is uh, Assassin Scarlet, and I think she fits in perfectly. Uh, she's actually one of my favorite characters of this update. Really? Yeah, I love Terminator. Terminator is amazing, but I think uh, there's some real fun to be had with Scarlet. And also using Scarlet to finish off that team. Yes. Which yes. is going to be, hey, we always talk about this. Every time there's an update, like the meta's going to shift, and now we have a full new squad. Yeah, yeah. People that were, were really trying to figure out what the two assassins and their, their uh, whatever, bumper character were, right. really can uh, team these three up and wreck shop out. Now there. you got it. Uh, let's take a look at Scarlet in action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just take a look at some of her moves here. You know, one of the one of the big things is at the start of the match, she will make the entire uh, team bleed, the other opponent team bleed uh, for a little while. And when anyone is bleeding on the other team and Scarlet is out in combat, she is going to continually siphon power from that person. All right. Uh, which is a pretty pretty nasty deal. Um, and you know, there's a there happens to be another uh, assassin on her team that happens to. Uh, make people bleed, and those two working in tandem together is a lot of fun uh, and very scary together. And uh, you'll you kind of pick some of our favorite moves here mm -hmm. to kind of uh, show off uh, the build and awesome fatal blow there. Fatal blow, and, and she has that spinning uh, 
That right, the Vanishing Wind. Yes, that's given to her by Assassin Jade. Yes. And it's something that, you know, it's very helpful to avoid special attacks. So there we go. So Scarlet.